Hi, I'm Jen Royal with the Boston Herald, and welcome to another edition of Talk of the Town, sponsored by Aria Trattoria, one of the north end of Boston's greatest Italian restaurants. Okay, as you can see, we're here at Boston College, and we're getting ready to talk to QB1, Tyler Murphy, who is a fifth-year transfer from Florida, uh, hoping to get this program better than 7-7 seven and seven like it was last year. Uh, we hear he's a very well-spoken uh, athlete here at Boston College uh, with, uh, from what I understand, uh, dreams of becoming a broadcaster. So uh, we'll see what he has to offer here at Boston College. Here's Tyler Murphy. All right, Tyler, 50-year transfer from Florida. Uh, tell us a little bit about why you chose BC. Um, you know, I chose BC because, um, you know, I was, I was familiar with the coaching staff. Mm -hmm. um, I knew Coach Adazio um, from Florida my freshman year. Uh, I graduated from the same high school as Coach Leonard, the tight end coach. And then I knew Coach Fry. Um, he was an intern at Florida. So um, it, it, I felt comfortable coming here because, um, you know, I knew some of the staff. Um, it's close to home, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a great ac academic institution. And, um, you know, I was given an opportunity to get my master's. So um, everything just seemed like a fit, and, um, you know, it was just something I felt comfortable with. And, um, you know, BC w was one of my uh, options, and I said, why not? Okay, so we'll get to Coach Adazio in a second. I'm going to call an audible here because uh, I didn't know you were getting your master's. In what? If you, weren't, uh, if you don't become a professional football player, what would you be? Um, if I don't become a professional football player, um, I want to be a coach. Um, you don't need a master's. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got my undergrad in telecom, so um, maybe I could be like Charles Barkley or something, be on a... a or work college game there or something. Those are kind of some of my long-term goals. But um, I'm getting my master's in administrative mm -hmm. studies um, just so um, I can have some background with uh, being a leader and mm -hmm. being a head coach and maybe an af maybe even an athletic director one day. Nice. Okay. Um, all right. Matt Ryan, also, you are a big fan of. I know you mentioned that you're from here. You're from Connecticut. Uh, you grew up a Matt Ryan fan, correct? Yeah. Uh, did that play a role in all? Did you ever go out there and pretend you're Matt Ryan for a second? Um, I remember. I uh, remember the Virginia Tech comeback. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, there's been times where uh, growing up as a kid, I would uh, pretend if I was Matt Ryan, um, you know, down um, 14 or however many points they were down and, um, you know, trying to scramble out to my left and throw back right. So, um, you know, when I got here, it was kind of cool to see all the, the uh, posters of Matt Ryan and, and the Virginia Tech game. So, um, you know, I got a chance to talk to Matt Ryan. He was here for uh, Chase's Pro Day. Um, and he, he's a cool guy. It was nice to meet him, and, um, you know, I was kind of starstruck. Um, anytime you meet somebody in the NFL as good as he is, um, you know, you, you, you become a little kid again. Yeah, for sure. All right, uh, we'll talk about Chase later. So growing up in Connecticut, were you a baseball fan, Red Sox, or Yankees? Uh, I mean, I was I was a Yankees fan, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, this interview's over. See ya. <laughs> um, but actually, I, I found myself rooting for Boston. Uh, I've never lived in New York. Um, you know, growing up in Connecticut, mm -hmm. um, everybody's kind of split 50-50 because we're right in the middle. Right. Um, so... Uh, but, uh, you know, I find myself rooting for the Red Sox now that I'm in Boston. All right, good for you. We like you. <laughs> All right, you mentioned that you knew Coach Adazio. I know that he helped recruit, recruit you in Florida. Um, his philosophy this year in terms of practices, shorter practices but more intense, more physical. How has that been? Do you agree with that philosophy, and is that something that Boston College maybe needs? Um, you know, that's, that's something, um, you know, a lot of guys are buying into, and that's yeah. something, um, you know, that guys are putting their faith in. Um, you know, anytime you can save players' bodies and yeah. prevent injuries, um, you know, it's a good thing. And coaches trying to help us out by doing that. And so as long as we give him good quality reps and everyone's focused and we make the best of each play, mm -hmm. um, he's going to take care of us. And, um, you know, some of the leaders and some of the seniors on the team have really done a good job of pushing guys to um, make sure that they're, you know, doing their best each and every play so that way we can get things such as, you know, practices are cut and and we get longer breaks yeah. you have time to go home and nap <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, private joke <laughs> <laughs> yeah those uh those naps <laughs> come in handy all right andre williams is gone so let's talk a little bit about the run game uh miles willis and tyler rouse young guys uh how are you going to handle the, the the running game without andre um, you know, Andre did a great job last year, and he had an unbelievable season. Um, 
and you know Miles and Tyler, um, you know they they were able to get they were able to get some experience last year and step in when Andre needed a breather, um, and so they they did they did well when they when they went in. You know both of them have touchdowns and and have some explosive plays under their belt. Um, so um, you know they're guys that really take coaching well. They really focus on the details, and um, you know they're they're going to be exciting to watch. Um, you know they might not be the same style runners as Andre, but you know, they can make guys miss, get into the second level, and make things happen. So um, I'm excited to see them play. So your throwing game, uh, seven times last year you only threw for 25 yards or more. Very different from Chase. How, I know you had the arm injury, so I want to ask you about your arm. I'll just ask you that first. How's your arm? Uh, my arm's yeah. holding up fine. Um, you know, I feel 100%. Um, you know, I did a lot of rehab in the off season with the trainers here, and they did a great job. Um, and the strength staff is helping me, uh, you know, giving me lifts to, to help get it back to 100%. So, you know, I, f I feel I feel really good. Okay, so you're not an air it out kind of guy, correct, in terms of your style? Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm someone who's going to throw the ball deep every right. play now. Okay, so it, it, with that being said, people are sort of comparing you to Chase because he was that guy. So do you have to come here and say, listen, this is my offense. I'm here now. This is the way I'm going to do things. You have to own this offense. Uh, definitely. That's something, you know, Coach Adazio has really challenged me yeah, to do sure. is to, uh, you know, just be a leader and not get caught up in a lot of the, the outside noise and, you know, just do whatever it takes mm -hmm. to, to put points on the board for my team. And so if that's using my legs or throwing the ball through the air, um, you know, I'm just going to have to do whatever whatever is needed. Okay. So why will this team be better than 7-7? Seven and seven? Um, you know, it's, it's the second year with the coaches. You know, we got all the same coaches coming back, um, and that, that's very rare to see. Um, you know, we had a great off season. Guys are hungry, and, um, you know, a lot of people are sleeping on us. Um, you know, we're not predicted to do well, mm -hmm. and so that's something, you know, that, that sits in the back of our minds, you know. Um, you know, our goal is to get to Charlotte and make the AC championship, and um, there's no reason why we can't do that. All right. Well, I got to say, I think you could have a future in broadcasting. You're, <laughs> you're a good talker. You're smooth. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of good practice down. Yeah. Um, and, yep, down at Florida, my undergrad. So, um, and, you know, growing up, I was one of those kids who, um, you know, teachers would have to call my parents because I, I wouldn't shut up. So, <laughs> um, you know, I enjoy talking. I enjoy conversations. So um, it's nothing new to me, I guess. Well, this was a nice conversation. So thank you. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.